All right, so here is KLCA Mark II and uh, I have got somebody with me who will explain some of the features. In Mark I, we have a nose probe which has been eliminated in Mark II with a multi-function smart air data probes where the air data probes are being accommodated under building so that we don't have pneumatic lines running to the system uh, where the radar performance is going to be reduced. All right. And this is a and new addition. It, there is a new addition to Mark II is IRST, is the infrared search and radar, uh, search and track, which will enable for st uh, the stealth. In place of radar, we can use it for All tracking right. our targets. All right. And uh, in flight refilling probe, what is there? A fixed probe in Mark I, which is going to be a retractable probe in Mark II okay. to enhance the, uh, to reduce the drag. All right. Okay, this is a retractable kind of thing. We are planning for, we are having a retractable. So Mark 1, it is a fixed one. Fixed one. All right. Now in the cockpit, if you look at it, you have a major changes in the cockpit. One is we have a large area display. In All right. case of Mark 1, we used to have three small displays. All right. 5x6 and 5x5 five five displays. Okay. And we had a sleek HUD. We have, what are the HUD is there, conventional HUD. In okay. Mark 2, we are going to have a sleek HUD. Okay. That is called a light hut from EA system. Light hut, all right. Yeah. All right. And we have a other thing is instead of central stick, it will be side stick. All right, okay. The control stick. This is an active side stick. Active side stick. Okay. And here we have a control surface, additional two control surfaces compared to Mark 1. These control surfaces are called canard. Canard. Close coupled canards. Okay. Basically to improve the lift to drag ratio. All right. Okay. Additional lift it provides. We are integrating. See, today on Mark 2 we have 11 hard points compared right. to 7 hard points in Mark 1. All right. And we have a tip measures. We are planning to integrate Astra also. And right. it has a weapon carrying capacity, station wise weapon carrying capacity of max of 1800 kg. All right, okay. Because of that, we are in a position to integrate in future right. Rudram 3, which is the very heavy standoff weapon okay. in the indigenous class. All right. Rudram 3, which is going to come up. And uh, here, air intake has been modified to improve the pressure recovery. All right. And your cantangles and dial are slightly modified. All right. These are the cantangles, right? Yeah, cantangles. All right. Uh, when it comes, this will be one of the unique aircraft in Indian Air Force carrying eight BBR missiles. All right. Uh, at a given point of time. This is the first time we could uh, accommodate. No Indian Air Force fighter aircraft can carry that to that, to that level of this one. Now, including the new ones though, that are being inducted. Yeah, that All is right. true. That is the reason. Okay. And here, we have a three slots in Mark One. So, because a tip missile has come, okay. the outboard slot has been removed, and okay. we have made only two slots now. Compared okay. to uh, All right. Mark One, we will have a two. Now, coming here. And uh, here we are integrating on this the fin, okay. the MAWS, the rear also MAWS All right. because uh, the sensors are going to be accommodated. Uh, and you have a higher thrust engine is being integrated. Here. Right, okay. The so 98 kilo G414. Engine, G414 engine is being integrated. And the fuselage length is, to accommodate all these things, fuselage length has gone up by 1.35 meters. Okay. And uh, your uh, wing spacing was additional 300 mm. All right. 